Welcome to the training videos for the Huff IntelliSense Universal Sensor. With these videos, we would like to demonstrate all relevant steps of tire pressure monitoring system diagnosis, as well as configuration and installation of the Huff IntelliSense Universal Sensor. In the first video, Diagnostics, we will show you what information the dashboard warning light provides, how to check the current status of the installed tire pressure monitoring system, how to determine the pressure in each tire, and what information the initial inspection report should include. First, confirm that the vehicle is equipped with a Direct Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS. Direct TPMS systems measure pressure directly in the tire. The quickest way to check for a Direct TPMS system is to use the trigger function of your TPMS diagnostic tool. First, enter the vehicle data into the tool you are using. The tool will tell you which tire you should trigger first. Hold the tool as close as possible to the side of that tire and push the trigger button. Continue to the next tire specified by the tool. If the tool receives at least one response, the vehicle is equipped with direct TPMS. If there is no response from one tire, the TPMS sensor in that tire is likely broken. If the tool receives no response from any of the four tires, the car is probably not equipped with direct TPMS. If in doubt, you can double check by breaking loose the bead of the tire from the rim near the valve to see if there is a sensor installed. If the tool responds, the sensor ID and tire pressure level will automatically be stored in your TPMS diagnostic tool. Record the sensor ID and whether or not the sensor is functional or defective in the initial inspection report. Next, check the TPMS warning light in the dashboard. To do this, turn the ignition on and observe the TPMS light. If the TPMS warning light turns off with the other dashboard lights, the sensor is functioning and the tire pressure is within acceptable range. If the light remains on, the pressure in at least one of the tires is outside of acceptable range. If the light flashes first and then stays on permanently, at least one component of the TPMS is defective and should be replaced. Usually, this indicates a broken sensor. We will show you how to proceed in this situation in the next training video, configuring the Huff IntelliSense Universal Sensor. For now, continue with the remaining diagnostic steps. If the pressure of at least one tire is out of range and there is also a defective sensor, the TPMS warning light will only indicate the defective sensor. Therefore, the next step should be to check the pressure of all the tires. To do this, recall the tire pressure values you stored in the TPMS diagnostic tool during the initial inspection and write them in the inspection report. If the pressure of at least one tire is out of the range, check the tire for physical damage, repair any physical damage, and then adjust the tire pressure. Turn the vehicle ignition on again and trigger the sensor in the tire. Watch the TPMS dashboard warning light. If the tire has been correctly filled with pressure, the light will go out within a few seconds. If one or more sensors is broken and should be replaced, please continue with video 2, configuring the Huff IntelliSense Universal Sensor.